Good afternoon. I'm Jason, and I'm your host at Wild Earth. Today, I'm standing in Presque Isle Provincial Park on the north shore of Lake Ontario. That's one of the five Great Lakes. And I'm going to tell you what makes this place so special. Wait, was that a field sparrow? Presque Isle is one of Ontario's provincial parks. Its name means almost island. And as you can see, it's almost an island. Let us start our journey at Owen Point, the southwest tip of the park. Here, the rocky shore is beaten by endless waves. Looking westward, we notice a set of actual islands not far away. And there are thousands of birds flying around. What could they be doing here? These islands are in fact important nesting sites for many water birds, and at peak times, there can be a quarter of a million birds on them. This is actually one of the largest nesting sites for water birds across all the Great Lakes. The birds you will most likely see here are ring-billed gull, herring gull, double-crested cormorant, Caspian tern, and common tern. All day long, the birds use the islands as their base of operations while flying out around the park looking for food. Despite its name, the common tern is actually not that common, as it has severely declined in population in this area due to competition for space and predation. By creating fenced enclosures to protect nests from predators, the Friends of Presque Isle changed this trend over the past six years, and now the population of common terns is once again increasing. Before we leave the shore to look for birds in the forests and meadows, let us take a closer look at all these smooth rocks. At first glance, this lumpy vista seems devoid of life. But tis a flawed assumption, for if we are patient, we will see a much smaller life form than a bird in this habitat. A wolf spider. The wolf spider does not get its food by trapping it in a web, but rather hunts on the surface using its keen eyes to spot its prey. Flying insects frequently rest on the rock surface, providing ample food for the thousands of wolf spiders on this beach. The female carries her eggs in a sack behind her. We now leave the shore for the grassy plains of the northern part of the park we find a place known as Calf Pasture. This grassy meadow separates a forest from Lake Ontario and is a perfect edge habitat to find a variety of species, including field sparrow. Calf Pasture is also a hotspot for warblers. What is a warbler? It is a bird in the family Perulidae. There are 110 species in this family and 43 of those have been recorded in Ontario on eBird. Warblers migrate in the spring to their breeding grounds, and May is the perfect time to see them. Habitats like those in Presque Isle are very important for warblers because they need stopover points to rest during their thousands of kilometers of migration. When I first arrived at the park, I did not see too many warblers. Birding is just like that. Sometimes even a hot spot can be devoid. But the night before my last day in the park, there was an explosion of midges. They were everywhere, with hundreds covering each of my arms. The entire park was enveloped in a midge cloud. Now, 
These midges were looking for mates. They frantically searched and used any surface they could find to get it on. And warblers like to eat midges. Could this explosion of food attract a few more warblers to Presqu'il? I am not sure if the midges were the real reason, but the next day the forest was swarming with warblers. Species like yellow warbler, yellow rumped warbler, black Bernian warbler, black throated green warbler, American red start, common yellow throat, and even golden winged warbler. I would like to end this trip to Presqu'il with a poem written by Mary Oliver that I think captures the essence of watching birds. It is called Red Bird Explains Himself. Yes, I was the brilliance floating over the snow, and I was the song in the summer leaves, but this was only the first trick. I had hold of among my other mythologies, for I also knew obedience, bringing sticks to the nest, food to the young, kisses to my bride. But don't stop there. Stay with me. Listen. If I was a song that entered your heart, then I was the music of your heart that you wanted and needed, and thus wilderness bloomed there with all its followers. Gardeners, lovers, people who weep for the death of rivers. And this was my true task, to be the music of the body. Do you understand? For truly the body needs a song, a spirit, a soul. And no less, to make this work, the soul has need of a body. And I am both of the earth, and I am of the inexplicable beauty of heaven where I fly so easily, so welcome, yes. And this is why I have been sent, to teach this to your heart.